we'll start with our normal warm-up round, mental maths. And I thought, oh, I'll take it easy on you guys today. And we'll just do some more chilled things. We'll do a chain again on Monday, okay? Um, so what I want you to do is draw um, now on your page. Just draw a number line. You don't have to mark it off um, 100%. It can just be about 10 centimeters long. So three number lines underneath each other. And the first one, you're going to put three on the left-hand side and then five on the right-hand side. Okay, so not to worry about scale. The second number line, as it is on the screen, you're going to put zero and a quarter and then two even spaces and then a one. And then you're going to do zero and three even spaces and a one. Okay, and for the first, um, for this first bit of mental maths, just put for me in the chat with a thumbs up if you've drawn your number lines. So just show me that you're done by putting a thumbs up in the chat. So that I can see if people are done. Thumbs up in the chat. Don't start yet. Okay, and then we're going to do a, a complete our first number line. So for number one, you'll see that there are numbers that you have to place on your number line. Um, they're written there. There's one, two, three, four, five of them. And then number two, you're also completing a number line. And there's a second number line that you have to complete. Okay, so I'm going to give you a minute and a half for this first bit of mental maths. And I'll tell you when you can start and when we're done. So get ready and off we go, a minute and a half. Okay, and time is up. So you can stop and let's see how we did. Okay, so we can say that um, these three on the left hand side and these five, and maybe as a guide, what you wanted to do was to say, okay, between halfway between three and five will be four. So I'm going to place three and four fifths. 
that is probably, um, if I look at all the threes, three and three sixteenths and three and five ninths. So three and three sixteenths, and it's not about being accurate, okay? It's just about getting it right in the right order. So I would say three and three sixteenths probably go about here. And then three and four fifths, that is probably over here, closest to four, three and four fifths. And then three and five ninths, I would put it more or less there. And then four and two thirds will probably be closer to five than four and two fifths. So as long as you put four and two thirds closer to five, then what four and two fifths are. Okay. So what's important, not, not so much the spacing, okay, because we didn't like mark it off with a ruler accurately, but that you get your numbers in the right order. Okay, next one, question two, that was easy. Quarter, two quarters, three quarters, and one. And then this one was divided into three. So this is a third, two thirds, and one. So you can give yourself, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that first one, total out of nine. So again, however many you attempted, and then however many you got right. And if you are happy about what you got, you're welcome to brag about it in the chat. If you can't see the screen, guys, that's not on my side, that's your device, especially if you're on a phone. Ms. Kat, maybe if you don't mind just to put some instructions in the chat on how to make sure you get to see the whole screen. Okay, so next round. Now you've got your number lines there and here are our next round of questions. And for this one, I'm only gonna give you a minute because they should be quick, okay? So there's five questions, one minute, let's go. You can start. Okay, and stop. So let's see, um, which is bigger, a third or a quarter? A third is bigger than a quarter. And which is bigger, two thirds or three quarters? Three quarters are bigger than two thirds. Okay, so that you can do one, one. And then write as one number. So we add three fifths and we add it together four times. So three fifths, plus three plus three plus three is gonna give me 12 fifths. And six sevenths plus six sevenths is 12 sevenths. And one ninth plus another ninth plus another ninth plus another one, that's four ninths all together. Yeah, we only add the numerators. It's like taking, if we cut up a cake into fifths, and I have more than one cake there, and I take three fifths, and I take another three fifths, and another, and another. I only, I still only have fifths. I don't suddenly have twentieths. We only make more pieces if we cut it up. But if we add this, the same type of pieces together, we still only get those kinds of pieces. So three fifths added together is 12 fifths. 
um, six sevenths plus six sevenths, 12 sevenths, and that's four ninths. Okay, wonderful. So I see a few people saying they got full marks. Well done, everybody. And remember, it's about improvement. So see how you've been tracking since the start, because we've been busy now um, in grade seven since the beginning of the year for about a month and a half. So hopefully you are tracking and getting better and better. Right, so let's go on to our lesson today, and we are going to do um, addition of mixed numbers. Okay, so you'll remember uh, if we just cast our eye back to what we did on Monday, we added um, fractions. First, we added ones with the same denominator, and then we said if the denominators are different, we need to make them the same. It's just easier if the denominator is a multiple of the other, and then we create fractions of the same kind, because that's the only way we can add them, if we have fractions of the same kind. So those same ideas are going to count today when we are working with mixed numbers, but it's... Um, there's just like one or two extra things we have to do, but that same idea is still um, in our heads for today. Now, a painter mixes one and a half liters of white paint and two and a quarter liters of blue paint to make a light blue color. How many liters of paint does he have altogether? Now, what I want you to do for the next two minutes is work it out on your own. You can do whatever way you do um, fraction addition in. You can, um, yeah, whatever plan that you can make. I want you to do this first problem just on your own for two minutes. See what you can come up with. And then in two minutes, we are going to chat and see what, what we get. Right, so don't put anything in the chat. Just work it out on your own. Okay, so our two minutes are up. And you can put your answer in the chat if you finished. Let's see what answers some of you got if you managed to finish. Okay, so first of all, we need to realize that how many liters of paint does he have all together? How many all together? So we have to take the hot one and a half liter of paint and the two and a quarter liter of blue paint and add that together. So that's one and a half plus two and a quarter. Now, from what we did on Monday, we saw that we can't add fractions together, or it's easier to add fractions together if they are of the same kind. And luckily, the two and the four, those are multiples 
of each other. So we can take the half and make it into quarters. So how many quarters are there in a half? There are two quarters in a half. So that should probably be the first um, bit that you did. Okay, everyone listen very carefully because I see some answers in the chat that's making me very concerned. So this is this is the way to do it. Okay, so we make the the fractions, the half and the quarter, we make that the same. The whole numbers stay as they are because they are already whole numbers. They are the same. So we can add them together. Now we're going to add the one and two quarters and two and a quarter. So we can say, let me put the whole numbers together, the one plus the two. And I mustn't forget about the two quarters and the quarter that I must put together as well. Now the one and the two, that's a three. One plus two is three and two quarters plus one quarter is three quarters. Now I think what some of you are doing is saying a half plus a quarter is two sixths. You can't do that because we do not, we can't say I take a half of something and I add a quarter to it and now I've made sixths. What we have to understand about fractions, so say we take, we back to our cake or our pizza, and if I divide it in a half, and here's another cake or a pizza, and it is the same size, and I divide it into a quarter. Now I take a half of that and a quarter, that's not going to give me two sixths. Do you guys see that? If we look at it in the pictures, a half plus a quarter, what I get all to get together is a half and a quarter. Do you see that? There are no sixths here. We've got halves and quarters and that's it. And if you look at my colored in picture, what do you get? Actually, that's three quarters. So if you did this, I want you to make a big circle around it and say, no, I need to think differently about this. This is the right thinking. And make these sketches as well. This is a half. This is a quarter. And a quarter and a half altogether gives me three quarters, not two sixths. That is a, a shortcut or something that you guys are taking that is not correct. Okay, so I want everyone to leave the lesson today and not do that again, because that is incorrect. We change the fractions to the same kind, and only then do we add them. Or if you are, if it's helping you, you can draw some sketches like I did over here. Right, let's go on. We're going to do another one. So more paint mixing, three and a half liters of white paint. A painter mixes three and a half liters of white paint and one and five, five sixths liters of red paint to make a pink color. How many liters do they have to paint? How many liters of paint do they mix all together? So all together tells us we must take all the paint and put the numbers together. So we must add it. So here is our sum, three and a half plus one and five six. However, the half, we're going to change that to six because we can't add halves and six together. Well, we can, but we it's, it's hard. So to make it easier is we say, okay, so how many six are in a half? And if you're not sure, again, draw a picture for yourself. And you can check a half will actually be three sixths. So I'm going to write it here. A half is the same as three sixths. We did a whole thing on Monday as well of saying half is equal to how many sixths, how many quarters, how many eighths, how many tenths, etc. So now if we put that together, we can say that 
it's three and three sixths plus um, one and five sixths put together. And if we add that, we can say, okay, let's say the three plus the one, because those are the whole numbers, and then that is three sixth plus five sixths. Now, three plus one gives me four, and then I still have to put with it three sixths plus five sixths. Altogether, I've got eight sixths. But what do we need to do here with the eight sixths? What do we need to change it to? And the clue is here on in the speech bubble as well. So it's four and eight six, but eight six, we need to change it because eight six is more than one. So how many, uh, what do we change that to? Does anyone know? There's a clue on the board. <laughs> Four plus eight six. It's over here. Eight six. We say that is the same as one and two six. We change that to a mixed number. So if we carry on from here, four plus one and two six. Just by changing the eight six, we have to change it to a mixed number. Because remember, we are working with mixed numbers. So if we get an improper fraction, we have to change it to a mixed number. And all together now, I've got five because four plus one is five plus the two sixth. And if you really want to, you can simplify that to five and a third. Okay, one and two sixths, that's right. Okay, there we go. You can use that. I want you to try this first one on your own. And again, if you know another way, that's fine too. Um, you can do it this way, or if there's another way that you know it, you can do that way as well. But here's our first one, question 2A. And I'm going to give you a chance to do that one on your own now. Let's say three minutes, 17.33. If you get stuck, look at the example and at the numbers and pop a question in the chat. I just want everyone to try this first one, 2A. So if you have a question, you can put it in the chat. I'm not going to do question time right now. I first just want everyone to work. For those of you who are working fast and want to go ahead, you can. I've put another three up. If this is easy for you, please go ahead and do more if you are comfortable. Matthew, I see in your answer you have 11 over 8. So that's an improper fraction. We need to change that to a mixed number and then put it with the three. Don't put answers in the chat yet. Just carry on working and we'll compare answers in a minute.
Okay, let's have a look at question A. Those of you who are feeling a little bit lost, just listen again. We've got two and a half plus one and seven eighths. With the half and the seven eighths, those we need to make the same kind uh, because we can't add those together um, as it is, or it's difficult to. So we take the half and you can write it here for yourself, maybe do a little calculation and say, how many eighths is in a half? And that'll be four eighths. That's what's in, that's the same as a half. Four eighths plus one and seven eighths. Okay, now we're going to add that together. Um, guys, just remember, like I always say, it's fine to say I'm lost. You need to just ask a question, like say something like, I don't know how you get four eighths, or what do we do from this step? Like, be a bit more specific, then we are able to help you a lot better. But if you just say, I'm so lost, I don't really know where to go and look and find you, okay? <laughs> so you need to tell me where you are lost so that I, we can come look for you. <laughs> so now we're going to put the two and the one and the four eighths and the seven eighths together. Whole numbers. And the fractions okay so two plus three uh, two plus one gives me three and four eighths plus seven eighths how many eighths do i have all together eleven eighths okay so i hope everyone is now on the same page with the eighths and that we're not saying oh now i have sixteenths i'm just putting the number of eighths together and that gives me eleven eighths okay however now we have a bit more work to do here because the 11 eighths, that is an improper fraction that we need to change to a mixed number. Because again, we if we say 3 and 11 eighths, that's not quite correct because in 11 eighths, there's one whole, okay? There's one hole and then how many are left over? One hole and there are three left over. One and three eighths. Okay, and now we can say, put it all together. We've got numbers and fractions. So three plus one is four and three eighths. Okay, let's see. Okay, so some of you are changing everything to improper fractions. That's fine. So, Tara Jane, we make the denominators the same. So, like I said here with the half, we are going to change the half to eighths, and there are four eighths in a half. So, that's how we make the denominators the same. With the whole numbers, the four, the one, the two, and the one, we don't have to do that. But I know, I realize some of you have learned that you have to change uh, mixed numbers to improper fractions, but you're still going to end up having to make denominators the same. Um, just reading through some of the questions. Okay. How do we make it a mixed number? So you, you look at the eighth, the denominator, and you say, okay, so how many eighths will be in a whole? A whole is made up of eight eighths. So if we look at that 11, it will be eight eighths for one whole, and with it, left over to get the 11 is three eighths. So this is one and another three eighths. So altogether, it's one and three eighths. Right. Um, I'm going to take one or two questions. Let's see. Asande. Ma'am. Yes. 
Ma'am, I don't understand how you how you get the next number, how you do the next number thing. I don't understand how you get the answer. So how to change 11 eighths into a mixed number? Yes, ma'am. So how many eighths, if you are looking at 11 eighths, how many eighths are in one whole? Eight. Eight. Okay, so of those 11, now you have eight going into one whole. And how many are left over? Three. Three. There you go. So that's one and three eighths. That's how we get the one and three eighths. Oh, okay, ma'am. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Dimple? Ma'am? Yes, I'm touching. Dimple. I'm asking, well, how did you get the four? Which four, darling? At A. At A. Oh, the four comes from saying three plus one gives you four. Oh, Let me get okay. my highlighter out. Three plus one gives you the four. So the, the three and the one from the one and three eighths. Oh, okay, ma'am. Okay. Right, no Sipo, no you next. Uh, ma'am, I'm asking where it was the painting thingy, where it was the three half. How did you get the answer? Why are we supposed to like times the denominators? Or what are you supposed mm. to do there? Okay, let me show you. Are you here, no Sipo? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So the half, how many quarters are in a half? There are two quarters in a half. So we change the half to two quarters, right? You with yes, me? Okay. Yes. So now we're going to add the numbers, the whole numbers. One plus two, that gave me three. And two quarters plus one quarter gives me three quarters. Okay, so we're not multiplying denominators or anything. We're just adding together. We make the same. That's the first thing we do. And then we add together. And if we need to, we change from an improper fraction to a mixed number. So ma'am, mostly the thing that you're going to do, going to be doing is like uh, multiplying quarters. Um. No, not necessarily. It can. It's the same for any fraction, quarters, thirds, mm -hmm. eighths, any of them. Okay. Yes, okay. Thank you. All right, uh, Tara J. Hi, ma'am. Hi there. I'm just very confused on how you change the denominators to be the same because we've learned that you have to simplify the denominators. And then what you do to the bottom, you do to the top. Okay, sure. You can do it that way as well. Um, this is just saying, so if I look at two and a half and one and seven eighths, it is almost quicker just to say, how many eighths are there in a half? Like how many, if I take, um, if I have eighths, how many of them will make up a half? That's four of them, right? So this is just a little bit quicker almost to say a half is the same as four eighths. But if you want to do it that way, where you multiply and make denominators the same, then you're going to say two and a half and you'll times like that. No, sorry, mm -hmm. by four. Is that what you mean? Yes, ma'am. No. Yeah, so then you'll have two and four over eight, which is the same as what I had. Okay. So Thank if you're you. used to doing it that way, nothing wrong. You can do it that way. It's fine. As long as you understand why you are doing it. Thank you. Okay. Right. Unati.
Nati's. Where did you Nati go? I'm sorry, ma'am. Hello, ma'am. Um, Hi. Is it, a, is it a must for us to do um your method, ma'am? No. Have you got something else that you do? Let me hear it. <laughs> um, where's this page now? Okay. I um I looked for the. Let me do the A or the B one. You said um there was three and one over two, and yes. plus two and five over eight. So I um yes. looked at the ma multiple multiples of two and the and the eight the denominators, yes. and yes. then I looked which numbers are the same in the those both both numbers. I counted till the that those numbers and then um the multiples of two gave me um four and then I times the two and the one by four. Yes, and that's that exactly what I just explained to Tara Jane as well. So that's fine if you do it that way. Not a problem. Thank okay. Thank you. Right. Brilliant. Brilliant. You can ask your question. You can unmute. Hi, Hi ma'am. Hi there. How do you calculate um, uh, mixed fractions using your method besides a half? Okay, so let's take question C. We can all have a look at question C. So I'm going to do it this way. So question C is two and an eight plus one and 15 sixteenths. Now, again, we've got eighths and sixteenths. So I'm going to make the eighths the same as the sixteenth. So to do that, now what some of you are saying, which is absolutely fine if you want to do it this way, you say, okay, I'm going to times by the two to get the 16, but just remember what you do at the bottom, you must do at the top. Okay, brilliant. Are you following? Yes, ma'am. So I'm basically saying how many 16th and an eighth, and that's two 16th and an eighth. So we're going to add the whole numbers together, the two and the one, and then we're going to put the 16 and the 15 sixteenths together. And two plus one gives me three, plus another 17 sixteenths. Now, what is that going to be? We notice, okay, this is an improper fraction. We need to change that to a mixed number. What will it be as a mixed number? If you know, um, you can put it in the chat as well. Or oh, brilliant, you can tell me. Uh, it will be three, one over 16. Ooh. Okay, so how many 16th are, 16ths are gonna make up a whole? 16 of them. So I'm gonna take the 16 16th and write that as one but I'm going to have one left over, one sixteenth left over because there's 17 sixteenths. And put that together, that's four and one sixteenth. Oh. Okay. Right. Um, we are going to have to leave it there for now, everybody. Well done for your questions. Well done for trying and for doing um, the maths with the mixed numbers. It's great stuff, guys. And for those of you who want to go practice a little bit, feel free to take a screenshot of the rest of the questions that are there. And we'll carry on again on Wednesday.